Hello everybody, my name is Vital and I'm one of two PhD students at the Bimini Biological Field Station or the Shark Lab. Having lived in Bimini for a couple of years, I've been very fortunate in joining the outstanding science of my colleagues and supervisors and actually been very privileged in leading the Hammerhead research in Bimini since 2018. Today I would like to talk to you a little bit more about hammerhead sharks as a group of species, their similarities and or their differences, but also about that one body part that gives these sharks their name. When we talk about hammerhead sharks, we normally don't refer to one particular species, but several. To date, there are nine different species of sharks that are commonly referred to as hammerhead sharks, and they all belong to the family Sphernidae. So some of these sharks look very, very similar, and it's actually pretty difficult to tell them apart. So let's say you're swimming with a scalloped hammerhead, and then out of a sudden, a Carolina hammerhead shows up and tries to dive. So these species are very similar, similar to look at and it's nearly impossible to tell them apart unless you do collect a DNA sample that you later on can analyze in a lab. Other species such as this great hammerhead shark in the top picture and this bonnethead shark in the bottom picture, they are very different in size and in shape and it is very easy to tell them apart if you see them. What all of these species have in common is a dorsoventral flattening and a lateral expansion of their head, what is called the cephalofoil. In other words, hammerhead sharks have a flatter and a wider head than other shark species. So if such a unique structure evolves and persists, there's normally a functional reason behind it. To date, there are several hypotheses how or why this hammer shape might have evolved and what the potential advantages are that comes with it. I will summarize some of those really cool findings that have been published in the scientific literature today in this video. To acknowledge the scientists and researchers that have found out these results, and also in case you are interested in reading those articles yourself, we inserted a little bibliography right down below in the caption of this video. All chondrichthyan fishes have electro sensitive organs called the impulae of Lorenzini that allow them to detect electric fields. Hammerhead sharks, similar to other sharks, also have these impulae and they're placed around the head region. Having this elongated head though, or this wide head, provides the hammerhead sharks with a larger surface area to place these impulae, what increases their capability to detect prey. For example, a southern stingray that is buried in the sand. Once a hammerhead has found a suitable prey item and engages in a predator-prey interaction, they have been observed to do some incredibly sharp and fast turns. To show that, I have a picture here of one of our male hammerhead sharks in Bimini. We call him Chaos. And this is a picture of when he was looking for something to eat on the sandy bottom in Bimini. So you see that he is able to do a very tight term and his whole body nearly forms a full circle. It was suggested that the width of the head of the hammerhead actually provides stability during these terms. Then if we look at the anatomy of a hammerhead's cephalofoil, we see that the eyes and the nares are at the distal ends of their head. Having their nares farther apart comes with a couple advantages. Having the nares farther apart allows the hammerheads to sample a broader area of water than if those nares would be closer together. Furthermore, by having these nares spaced out, hammerheads are able to detect a gradient in odor strength. So say if a hammerhead swims through a scent in the water that is a lot stronger on the left side of its head than on the right side of its head, the hammerhead will be able to detect this gradient 
and can very efficiently follow a scent trail. Similar to the nares, also the eyes are at the distal ends of the cephalofoil. And it was shown that having the eyes that far apart can enhance or does enhance the field of vision of hammerhead sharks. Having the eyes that far apart, however, also leaves somewhat of a blind spot right in front of the head of a hammerhead shark. However, it was shown that by moving their head left and right in the water while they're swimming, hammerhead sharks do overcome this blind spot. If you're interested to find out what species of hammerhead we reliably encounter in Bimini and what we have found out about their movements, their migrations and also their interactions with the local dive tourism industry, make sure to tune in again when we are ready to share another video full of hammerhead highlights. I thank you very much for your attention and hope you have a great day.